Uh, g'day, thanks for tuning in again. Um, I'm just uh, doing a short video today and I will do a longer one on this machine I think at another time when I've got a bit more time. But um, yeah, I've just upgraded my uh, water pressure tester to one of uh, these machines which is a uh, Vichy uh, ALC 2000. Now these are a slightly older machine um, but still have the same functionality as the newer machines, just the, uh, the newer machines have a different form factor. So the new machines are a bit more compact, a bit smaller, and, and so on. So I'll just go through some of the features of the machine. So you'll see it's got a base here with a display, which has some uh, pressure testing pressure testing programs on it, and there's some lights and buttons and stuff. Um, these things here, they're actually automated uh, locking jaws, which you'll see operate in a sec. Now if I get in a bit closer here, we'll just have a look at the... Um, what we've how it actually works so the watch is actually sandwiched between these two pieces here so that's the base there and that's the sensor now what the sensor actually does is it uh, it measures how much the crystal uh, goes down so when you think about how these sorts of machines work what they're actually measuring is they're measuring the amount of uh, crystal deformation or deflection um, and what they're looking for is in a waterproof watch they're looking for deflection um, and if you don't get any deflection at all then the watch isn't going to be waterproof. Now when you think about that um, uh, a watch having a leak is going to pressurize what well, is going to the pressurize inside uh, sorry I'll start again the pressure inside the watch is going to be equal with the pressure outside of the watch very quickly whereas if it's waterproof um, there's going to be a pressure difference and you're going to see the crystal depress under pressure. So um, with that in mind I'll put, uh, put a watch in and we'll run a test sequence. So we'll start with this guy here. So that's a 61396002. It's uh, quite a nice one. And they just go in the machine like that. And um, it's probably a bit difficult to see on here, but uh, the sen when you've got a light on the sensor, it means it's got a, it's uh, the sensor's in the right place and it's going to record a result. So on the settings here, um, the machine does two tests. It does a vacuum test, which is to minus seven bar, and a pressure test, which is up to five bar. So the reason it does a vac vacuum test is it tests for different sorts of leaks and uh, also. If it has a major leak, the watch is going to fail the uh, vacuum test and end the test, which is a better result for the watch because you don't break anything. So the way these work is extremely simple. They have uh, several different programs that are already in there. And uh, yeah, I don't really, th you can put in custom programs and stuff, but I don't really see a need to. So the most commonly used ones would be the 100 meter diver and uh, this one here which is just basically a, a standard type test for uh, a normal waterproof wristwatch. So the figures there, um, yeah this is just a, a totally uh, pre-programmed program so there's a few things you can change in here. The minus one percent is just the amount of tolerance that it allows on the test so it actually looks for a certain amount of deformation which I think is up to um, Sorry, uh, up to, I have to read the specs, otherwise I'll sound very silly, but I think it is up to about uh, 3 micron, which is uh, 3 thousandth of a millimeter. So I'll just get the test going. So we just pull the, uh, the top down there. And those latches in there uh, hold down the top and make it, there's a seal that runs around here as well, so that's a totally sealed uh, vessel now basically. So we're just running the vacuum test and you'll see some figures there as well. Now th the other part to this is a compressor which is actually under the desk, I'm not going to video that. So the test runs for a minute and it does take a measurement. So you can see there from the measurement we're within what it expects. So that means we get one green light there, which means it's a pass on the vacuum test. Now it's going to pressurize this uh, this vessel here. 
up to five bar. And now we're just going to make sure that it maintains that, uh, that pressure. So you'll see there the crystal is slowly being pushed down by the pressure, which is what it's supposed to do because it's glass in a rubber seal. But you don't want it to go down too far. But so far we're definitely within the tolerance. And you can see there it's basically holding its shape. which is what we want to achieve. And we've got two green lights, which means it's a pass. And the top pops open, and that's the end of the test. So this watch is waterproof. That's well, water resistant, technically, which is what we want to know. And there's some test information there. And that's how these work. So. In another video, I'll go into a bit more detail about what it looks like when you fail a test and how to fail a test. And uh, yeah, it'll definitely be a longer video for that. But right, thanks for watching, and I'll try and get some more stuff up soon.